take a look at all of these baby snakes that just had. These are greenish rat snakes. And today I got the surprise of my life hatching a world's first group that I didn't even expect to hatch. More on that a little bit later. For now let's just take a look at a couple cool baby snakes that hatch. And again, the snakes that hatch that I'm going to show you later are mind blowing. Maybe some of the coolest colubrids that I ever hatched and completely unexpected. World's first. Unbelievable. I cannot wait to hopefully prove these things out. But these guys are really cool too. These are actually what they call albino tessera. Pet for scaleless corn snakes. Absolutely wonderful snakes. And the albino tessera scaleless are ridiculous. So these babies can grow up and actually produce some of those. Mike. You just get back and now you're all in the way, dude. Kids, let's go. Okay, so things are always kind of moving and changing around here. This cage opened up, so we're going to move our female Sanzinia boa into it. But I've got to do a couple things to it first. I'm put a couple more sticks in here because they're pretty arboreal. And then I'm going to put a couple more plants in here in the corners just to make it look a little nicer. Just going to go ahead and secure everything now. We gotta let the great stuff here, put some moss and stuff over it to make it look good. Back to some other colubrids that we hatched out. Now these are actually what they call tiger scaleless corn snakes. And I got a little surprise here. Now this is not the surprise. It's not a world's first. We produced one of these last year. This is actually an aneurysmistic tiger scaleless corn snake. Again, the mystery snakes that hatched out that are world's first. No one has ever hatched them before. Which is pretty spectacular. And here are those mystery snakes. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later. Just hang on, trust me, it's gonna be worth it. I know I'm teasing you guys. I do apologize about that. These are little leucistic Texas rats. Snake. Solid white snakes. Look at this little cheeky monkey right He's here. He's just like, I'll bite you. Don't look I at I love it when they get that triangular head like that. They're so big. They have to be big and bad because they are small snakes in a big world. He is so absolutely adorable. Jesus, Lord Almighty. <laughs> The other thing that Jay got that I think is so cool, that's an emperor scorpion. You guys pick it up. How gentle do I have to be? Oh, it's not a nice one. Where do you Where grab it from? Tail, you have to grab it by the tail and underneath the body. First off, no, you need both hands. Oh, God. Commit. Ah. Noah, you guys don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, you guys hold this. You guys are wimps. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, I can't hold this. Actually. We got it configured up. Mike, hold this. Mike, hold this. Mike, hold this. Mike, just hold it with me. Hang on, hang on. Okay, you guys gonna hold? No, hell no. Oh. Come on, hold. Well, it's about to oh, pinch you right you. now. It pinched me. Listen, I'm not even so worried about the pincher. I'm worried about the sting. It's not gonna sting you. It's so cool. See? Who says it's not gonna sting yeah. you? Can you just hold it for a couple more seconds? Yeah, let's let it calm down oh. first. Oh. Get its jitters out. I love its arms though. It's like, grrm. Are you scared a little bit? Such a cool. <laughs> <laughs> let's go put it away. <laughs> That's so a yes. cool. That was so good. Are you scared a little bit? Yeah. Let's put it away. Speaking of rare and unusual animals, I want you guys to pick what you think are the rarest animals to you. Not not necessarily the rarest animals at the Reptarium, but to you personally, what you think are the rarest ones. Go. Hey, Beetlejuice. So this is Beetlejuice. And I think he's one of the rarest animals. They say they're common in Australia. What? I don't necessarily believe them. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> what Damn, boy. Hey, come up here. They have a beautiful mix of yin and yang IRL. He's cool. You know what I had somebody tell me the other day? What? You don't move as slow as you do on the wall. So I'm gonna show you guys Tyson. Look how cute he is still. He's getting big now. And by big, I mean, he's still really small, but like bigger than he was when we got him. They actually are very rare. He's only one of three in the world, I believe, that we know of. I don't know, we have some kind of weird special bond. I just raised him since we've had him, and we've had him for like five, six months now, maybe? We have a bond. I love him. I think he loves me. He's not trying to blame me right now. That's a win. So the next step in here is to shape the foam a little bit and then cover it all so you can't see it. Let's get started. One last snake to show you before I show you the surprise. That I am still absolutely <laughs> freaking out about. This guy is so funny. This is actually a black house snake. And look at what a feisty little dude is. He thinks he can just go after me any which way. His mouth's open. He's just bite, 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 bite. What an absolutely crazy. Look at this little dude. I promise you, you can't even feel it. He's got such small teeth. He is absolutely incredible. And these are jet black African house snakes from Africa that are just absolutely incredible. Okay, guys, I've been keeping you in suspense long enough. Let's go ahead and show you what I have. 
yeah. And to start off, I've been breeding Pueblin milk snakes for, I don't know, 30 or so years. And this is what a Pueblin milk snake looks like. It's what they call a tri-colored milk snake, right? They have black, they have yellow or white, and then they, of course, have Some red. Some have less than others. And we've been breeding for what they call Halloweens, which are basically just black and orange. We've been breeding for ones that are just black and white, which are called Oreos. But this was an absolute surprise clutch right here. Take a look at this. Oh my gosh. That is a world's first. No idea what's going on. Now, if I hatch one of these guys like this, I would think, all right, maybe it's had something to do with an egg incubation or something like that. But guess what? We didn't just hatch one of these. Now, with that being said, this certainly is the most incredible one. And I am blown away by it. It is absolutely incredible. But we did hatch another one, which tells me there's something genetic going on. Looks like a, I've never seen one. It looks like a stripes. Kenyan Sambo. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does. <laughs> and this is the second one. Now, what's interesting is the first one certainly had more of a stripe on its tail, but the fact that they both have the striping tells me there's something genetic going on some random thing of course this one is more of that oreo look right really basically no red on it. just black and white or black and yellow with that really cool stripe on its tail so the fact that we had two of them tells me there's probably something genetic we just happened to put the right two animals together and it popped out now they're both male so we're gonna raise them up we can breed them back into the same bloodline and prove it out whether it's recessive is it something incomplete dominant is it polygenic we really don't know what's happening but i can tell you this out of the 30 plus years of producing Pueblo milk snakes i've never had anything like this and i certainly have never seen anyone else hatch anything like this it's really amazing and it's a new thing i think it's the first mutation of pueblin that is actually a pattern mutation which is really exciting so here in the next couple years hopefully we'll get an idea of what this is all about final steps here we just gotta freshen up the abd put the plants in and then we'll go get the snake and put her in What you doing? I'm cleaning filters. Evolution in the world. Tarantula, it's a bee crab it's a dinosaur. Yeah, mixed crab. together. What are the legs though? Tarantula, yeah. Tarantula, yeah. And it's got armor of a beetle or something. And eyeballs. It's basically mother nature's okay, way of saying. Play. Get away from me. It's a great educational tool. You can put a black light on this and it'll glow. It's just a great thing to teach kids. And this one's pretty mellow, to be honest with you. Once you get it out and stuff like that, you want to hold Noah? It's totally fine. It ain't gonna do anything. Bitch, you. Sorry, sorry. Can you hold my hand like you do the kids? The mud, the mud. Good job. <laughs> All right, Jay, thanks for getting these bugs for me, man. That was terrible. I'm not holding either. For my second pick, we're going to pick my absolute favorite animals of the entire zoo. Ah! They're extremely docile. Monkey tailed skinks. Handled. Literally. The most rare animal because they um, have babies like we do, the same way we do. Procreation, uh, nine months, they have a pregnancy. One baby, maybe two, just like us now, because McDonald's is taking down our sperm count. But anyways, <laughs> what? it's true. We're less of a man as we were in the 70s. This got really off to hand. I'm gonna put him back now. Oh, I just love those guys. <laughs> Wait, caution, piso mojado. Mojitos? No, piso, piso mojado. I don't know what that is. Piso mojado. Oh, it's in like the wet floor. Guna matata back here. Woo! I saw a team and I no food today. You ate yesterday. Oh my day. So of course I'm gonna talk about our girl Salty. Salty is an albino American alligator. Relax. Not only is she rare, but she is super rare to me. This is an animal that I thought I'd never. We don't have that many places in Michigan where you can go just visit an albino alligator. So here is Super fun to work with. Uh, obviously, she's very sweet. Can you hit me. Most of the time, she's still an alligator. We still have to respect her. But just how look how cute she is. I love her so much. Gotta change. Let's go show Lori. Lori. Okay, Lori, are you ready for this? Check this out. Oh, wow. Isn't that freaking cool? That is crazy. Wow, that that is definitely weird. Isn't that something? We actually so have a what? second one that is not quite as extreme as the first one. She has the striping as well, right? Yeah, so, this is insane. So it's got to be genetic, right? Sure. Well, it clearly came out of the Oreo line. So exactly. we're going to have to see which, which female is. Yeah, what parenting this is. They're both males. Those are, okay, both males. So, so there cool. you go. Isn't All that right. wild? All right, another project. And ever since we got these Sanzini, 
our Madagascan tree bow. I've been thinking about putting them here at the Reptarium. So I'm excited to see what Jessica did with the enclosure and see how it's gonna actually be in there. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, Jessica. It is gonna love it. Jessica just gets better and better at this. I tell you, she definitely needs to be a full-time cage designer. It is unbelievable. You can just see how amazing this is gonna look inside here, right? Well, I mean, I'm just gonna set it up here. It's gonna be able to use these branches to actually climb it's got out. a little hiding spot over here. It's got stuff on the bottom. Wow, look at that snake in there. I could just imagine when people come to the Reptarium now and see this animal, it's gonna really just get people like, oh my gosh, what is it? Because it looks so unusual. Eventually, we're gonna get the male over here as well. For now, the female's over here, and I think she's loving it. She's already just kind of looking around like, what is going on? I don't even know what to do for my last one. Yay. So look at the beautifulness of this it's one. The only reptile in the world that has a gradient from orange to grayish black. This is a chuckawalla. Just checking if you knew. Cool little spikes on their neck. Help them rock climb. Like if their arms get tired, they just kind of stick their neck up and they hook it to a rock. Strong jowls on these guys so they can take down prey as big as 130 it's pounds. It's the size of my hand and it can kill an elephant. So it's like. All right, guys. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, this is Bouch. This is our alligator snappy. Snappy turtle. Ha, man, he's getting him. Oh, man, he touched me with your tail. That felt weird. Super cool, rare. To me, I mean, where else do you come to Michigan and see a giant alligator snappy? He's not full grown yet. He's only about 100 pounds now. These guys can get over 200 pounds. It's crazy to think that literally twice this size. Again, yeah, Bowser is just an unbelievable dinosaur. And I get the privilege. I get the privilege. No. I get the privilege of working with him every single day. Yeah, his poop sucks, but you know what? To me, it's worth it. I'd kiss him, but I don't want it. So like Lori said, a new project. Something that's going to take us the next couple years to figure out. Speaking of out, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. How many people do you think's gonna ask if it's a venomous snake? It does look venomous, doesn't it?